Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more City Skylines. Today we're gonna continue Locopia and you guys gave me some very, very good suggestions last time around. So basically what we did, we reconstructed this entire area in hopes to make traffic flow a little bit better. Uh, we basically removed this entire area in the middle and we still have to like deal with those things. I actually did speed up time a little bit. As in, I let the game run for like a half hour or so to clean up those landfill sites. The last one is about 80% full right now, so that one will be empty in just a minute. Um, but I asked you guys, how should I be fixing this area right here? Now, it turns out that I've actually not been doing this very smartly at all. So what I apparently need to do, according to you guys, is to actually just delete this entire bit that is connecting here. Because these intersections are the ones that are messing everything up. And I can totally see that happening as well. Um, so what most of you suggested is that I actually need to like up the, um, well basically make this like height that I have over here. Make it a touch over here and make this road go just completely underneath and then have some intersections um, below it instead. So I'm gonna try and do exactly that. Um, what I need to do first off though is actually pause the game and delete these bits. I know, this is gonna be great. <laughs> this always is terrifying to me to just delete like a massive area like that. Um, but here we go, we need to get a motorway. And where do we want it up? Let's see. How high can we let it... Oh, we need to connect it over here, that's the idea. Uh, but obviously we need to make sure that it's gonna be a little bit higher up already. So what if we just go like this? I don't know how, how high we need it to be, actually. Is this high enough? Too up? Yeah, that would work. Alright, too up it is. Okay, and I'm gonna delete this second one here as well. There we go. It's gonna be right over here. Oh, well. Need to obviously make sure that it's straight. I spent way too much time on that, but... Hey, well actually this one this one turned out in the first attempt great And now I just need to have these things right here the highway ramps in order to like get people to leave I was thinking of maybe like connecting it over here somewhere um, Which would work wait people are driving Wait, did I do this properly? Yeah, I did all right, all right Yeah, so people are driving in that direction, which means I should have them leave right around right there That should work Right, I think it does I'm pretty sure that does work. Can I make the same one over here? I mean, technically that wouldn't work, but... That would work. Alright, alright. They're just gonna have to make this a little bit prettier now, as always. In this playthrough, I will be playing for about uh, an hour or so, and I'm gonna be cutting out all of the boring bits, so you don't have to sit um, through me doing little things like this. Alright, this should actually work really nicely right now. If you take a quick look at the... At the traffic right now in this little menu right here, it should actually show that we don't have too many issues. Well, there's still a couple things happening right here that obviously are not very smart. Because people need to actually slow down to make the turns and whatnot. But that will be fixed very shortly. Um, what I'm thinking about next is to actually make like a, a bit of a, a system underneath the road over here. I am gonna obviously have to move these things over. And we're gonna have to like, you know, have a place for that. Because as of right now, we really don't have very many good places for that sort of stuff at all. And apparently the houses right now that are abandoned, I also need to just manually remove, which is going to take a little bit of time. Uh, but in the end, it will obviously look all better when people will be able to start making new things over here. It looks so incredibly empty right now. Oh my god. Fixing this entire thing actually is, is turning out to be a lot more difficult than I expected it to be. Uh, now we just need to make sure that these two roads are going to be running parallel. That shouldn't be the biggest of deals. I wonder if I can actually just make a straight road. Would it automatically curve? Well, it will, but it will look awful. We need to, like, try and get that curve to be perfect. Kind of annoying, actually, because... Well, that would barely not work. But kind of annoying, because you basically need to make sure that everything is, like... Near perfect in one direction, and then to get the motorway in the other direction, the opposite direction, you obviously need to do it again. But this will work. Not bad for a first attempt, at the very least. Wow, I actually like that. That is awesome. Uh, one thing I've noticed when you have, well, besides the flying cars, uh, but one thing I've noticed is that you actually have these, like, purple areas where the pollution of the, um, of the industry or of the industrial zones really started kicking in. It's kind of interesting. By the way, I moved these things over there um, for now. But I'm thinking of making, like, connected roads in between here and make, like, a very nice, well, at least, like, nice-looking industrial zone over here. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, they finally found new homes. These landfill sites, they've been running around in this area for a very long time. Uh, but if I don't got a new place, now it turns out there were a couple more that were just hanging around right here. It's not a landfill site in a cemetery as well. Um, those should be emptied pretty quickly as well, and then I can move those around too. Uh, there's one more over here that I'm actually gonna move over here as well. Can I? Oh, this one's still emptying as well. Yeah, so I'm gonna be moving those into this little area as well. Um, and you can actually see this like purplish thing that was going on um, is actually gonna be dissipating quite quickly. You don't have to worry about that for too much. Uh, let's see, can we fit this one in here somewhere? Ooh, incineration site per fits perfectly in there. All right, one on the other side of the road, please. Oh, all right, all right, I'll take that, I'll take that. And I'm thinking of just filling up this little area right here with some uh, with some industrial zones. So that's definitely what we did need over here in this area. Uh, maybe not fill it all in. Maybe just, you know, leave a couple of empty places in here. I think that would look a little bit nicer instead of like filling everything up that I... You know, I, I do that I do that for most of the areas in this town, where they sort of like, you know, put things everywhere. I'm also trying to make it a little bit less symmetrical. Um, so it looks a little bit... It looks, a, it, looks a, it looks a little bit nicer, hopefully. At least that's the idea. I could put some in here in the middle here as well. Um, just make sure it's not like all completely filled up. And now we can put some... Oh, why is... Why am I losing so many citizens? Ooh, there's some issues going on. Let's... Let's, let's go one one place at a time. Um, and we can actually stop these things from emptying right now. There we go. You guys can now go back to your normal... You know, your normal whatever you do. Whatever you do. <laughs> and I may just have to add like another cemetery in here for now because... Well, people are just complaining. It's not good. You guys really want a crematorium as well? I'm great with crematoriums. There we go. Boom. Put one down. Great. Alright, so once again, a little update. Been working on this area a little bit more. Um, decided to just remove the, the, like, the, the exits for right now, and people don't actually seem to mind it. I mean, these people literally have absolutely no way of getting on the motorway, motorway, or, like, leaving this entire place. But for some reason, oh, actually, yeah, houses are being abandoned. I was saying, like, you know, for some reason, nobody is actually complaining, but it looks like houses are being abandoned right now. Which is not ideal. Probably will have to put that back. Uh, but for right now, I don't mind it too much. I don't actually mind it too much. So I'm just brushing in some trees right now because, hey, tree brushes are awesome. Really no reason not to use them. <laughs> just putting in as many trees as I could possibly fit in this entire area. Uh, I filled in this little place as well. Did do some zoning, some, uh, some residential here as well, which means well, we can put some trees over here. Um, it, should be, uh, it should be relatively fine. There we go. And this should now be good to go. I have to say, I like this so much better than the original zone, what was going on here. And at the very least, we got some good traffic flow right now. Well, there's a little bit of a darker places at some bits, but it's definitely not as bad as it used to be. Now, I guess the next project... Oh my god. <laughs> the next project is gonna be the worst one so far. I mean, look at the amount of issues that are going on right here. And we are losing more and more cash as well, which is not good. Um, well, I guess we better get started then, right? Oh, I found the issue. All of my cemeteries actually don't have room anymore. I didn't realize that was actually such a big thing. Yeah, oh look, there's just dead bodies piled up everywhere. No more room in this one. This landfill site is full. Oh, alright. Yeah, this is a lot of maintenance that you have to do. I guess we just have to plop down a whole bunch of cemeteries over here. And then hope that people will stop moving, or like, you know, we will stop losing as much money as we are, you know, losing right now. Um, just, you know, hard to fit, hard to find a place where we can actually fit one. Is this actually a cemetery? Yeah, this is a cemetery, but, um, that one is operating normally. Turns out, people just didn't have any place to put dead bodies for the longest time. Now, there is one obvious issue in this town. I've been working on it a little bit, but it is right here. I mean, <laughs> um, I mean, these ambulances aren't really going where they were supposed to go in time, right? I mean, look, what is this, what's this yellow car even thinking? Sports car? Like, you were literally right in front of- <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think we would be better off making an intersect- or like a, a roundabout over here. I think that would be the smarter choice. 
Uh, so let's just let's just get on to that because this this is not working. All right, so I've basically deleted everything that was in this area. Now I'm pretty sure you can make a roundabout as follows. Uh, we should be able to make like a cross sort of pattern over here. At least that's the idea. Um, if you make it too wide, that or a three wide, that's not very smart. Three wide would also not be ideal, actually. We would have to. Four wide would work, but we have to have like the four wide across as well. Hold on, hold on. Let's try that again. I'd have to make like I'd have to make it two out. Yeah, 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 that's it. Alright, yeah, so I have to make it two out, just like that. So I'm using the little guide right there to basically determine where it needs to go. We're gonna have to delete a couple more buildings, I think, because there's just not enough room. Yeah, there's a park over here as well. Park, I will deal with you later. What are you? I don't... Oh my god, they did not like that. I'm sorry, guys, I'm trying to fix your road issue over here. Alright, so I managed to get my cross-like pattern sort of thing over here. Now I'm just gonna have to make two out right here. And make the turn. There we go. Oh my god, it's hard to see. Because there's all kinds of buildings crowding my vision. Um, I think we're gonna have to move out. Oh my god. This is gonna be an expensive move, isn't it? Is this expensive? It probably will be. 16,000. Of course. We're already losing money, so that's like, you know, peanuts anyway. Okay. Two in that direction and connect it over there. That's a power line. Um, and two in this direction as well. Okay, that sh that should give us a massive roundabout right here. Now, I'm not sure what we're gonna be filling this one up with. This is a massive roundabout, though. Oh my god, that's bigger than I intended it to be, but hey. That's what Loco said. Um. I wonder if you can put the power thing in the middle of this. <laughs> This is the sickest roundabout in the world. I'm thinking maybe, maybe... Well, what are you doing in there? What, what is this even? All right, I made some room for the power plant. Wasting money left and right. Oh my god, there better be room here. Really? Space already occupied? By what? What is there? Green or like green square sort of things. I see. Be gone. We need a power plant over here. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on. <gasps> there we go. Beautiful. We'll fix with these. We'll, we'll fix this area later as well. All right. So now I just need to make sure that we have power over here because not having power is a bit of an issue. I can guarantee you that people will not appreciate that. Okay. There we go. And that should, like, fix most of these traffic issues, right? Right, guys? I mean, well, this road should then not be here. Let's be honest. And then this road should not be this ugly either. Let's be honest. It's actually a six-lane one. Is this a six-lane one? Yeah, it is a six-lane one. Um. There we go. Is it working? I think it is working. This is gonna be a massive intersection, though. Um... Okay, you can Well, we, we can maybe make another exit over here. I mean, if people are going to be using these exits anyway, we may as well make good use of them. A three-way... A three-way roundabout? That sounds normal. That sounds about right. Um, although I don't know about this exit either. If we take a quick look at this area, look. This is... This is not good. This is not good. I think the easiest fix... Oh my god. The easiest fix is just to delete it. Just delete it. Force people to take the roundabout. Right? <laughs> right, guys? Right? Please? Maybe? Okay, that is exit number one right there from the motorway, which should work beautifully. And then we can have another exit. Well, I kind of wanted to take this or do this zone a little bit later. Actually, this is alright. Yeah, these we should have used these exits a lot more. They're a lot more useful, these ramps, because they don't create these intersections that just... Look, this is just messed up. Hold on. Now we're here anyway, I'm gonna be fixing this area too. This is just gonna work so much nicer. Well, if it can work, obviously. We may have to make this angle a little bit different. There we go. There should be a way to, uh, to make this one work, right? Well, I think this is gonna be the best we will get for right now. But this, this should all work a lot nicer than we had previously. 
This roundabout, though, this roundabout is so enormous. Maybe you should just fill it up with trees. Let's get a let's get a heck of a lot of trees in here. So I've been clicking for the last couple minutes right here. <laughs> it's taking a little bit longer than expected for whatever reason. If you have like a lot of trees very closely together, it doesn't actually work very well when you're using the brush. Look, it just doesn't place anything. So this is gonna require a whole lot of clicking. <gasps> Whoa, 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 whoa. I just realized I accidentally cut off this area. I was like, wait, why the why are we all of a sudden in minus 30 a week? Or whatever this is. Ugh. Turns out this entire neighborhood was having issues. Oh god, we need to make sure we are in the plus again. I know I've been playing for longer than an hour already, but I need to fix this issue first. I'm sorry guys, but I think your weed privileges are gonna be revoked right now. It's uh, an expensive thing. To uh, allow you guys to smoke weed. And, um... Yeah. This, you know... I'm I'm but a cruel god right here. My sincere apologies. Oh, this also doesn't actually have any electricity. I knew that. Why did I never fix that? Here. Have some electricity. Harbor. Alright. Okay, we need to make this place functional again. While there are people moving in right now, and the amount of expenses we- Wow! Allowing people to smoke weed is very, very expensive. Uh, by the way, I stopped clicking in this circle because, um... Getting RSI over, like, you know... <laughs> freaking roundabout is not gonna be worth it. Uh, but this is functional. Let's have a quick look at the roads right now. There are still some issues. Uh, we could just make a, another road over here, I suppose. Make, like, another six-lane one. Um... Maybe allow people to move over here. There we go. So people have some uh, some different ways of also getting there. I mean, having a bit of a, a busy uh, a busy intersection is obviously not that bad of an idea. Oh, we are finally in the plus once again. This is good. This is actually good because I was starting to get a little bit worried. All of a sudden, losing thirty thousand, you know, all the time over here. That's not good. Right now, the weekly income is actually climbing again. Well, it's around 7,000 right now, which is definitely more than we will need. I think in the next episode, we're gonna redo the entire farming district. If you have any great suggestions, let me know right below that like button in the comment section of this video. I'm so I'm starting to think I like these sort of patterns a lot more with these kind of roads and whatnot. Um, I think I think that would end up looking a lot prettier. But obviously, you know, we would have to incorporate that. But if you have any solid suggestions, let me know. Because I don't I don't really like the way this has all turned out. So I'm gonna have to fix that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button if you want to see more. Hit that subscribe button as well. And I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.